This week we're looking at the sixth commandment, do not murder. And yesterday uh, we left off with the distinction between killing and murdering. Today I want to establish why murdering is wrong. Two big reasons. Number one, because uh, for us to murder someone is to take their life away and their life does not belong to us. It belongs to God. Murder is wrong because we don't own what we are destroying. And uh, as a matter of fact, I would go a little bit further than that in saying they don't own what, they, what is being destroyed either. This is part of the reason why I think suicide is wrong. Now, let me just say, I am not uh, among those who think that suicide is an unforgivable sin. That's something that gets developed um, principally in the Catholic Church that makes a distinction between mortal and venal sins. And mortal sins are so bad that they, you have to confess to be forgiven. I, I don't think that that's true. As I've said before, I'm not Catholic. Uh, but obviously the problem with suicide, if it's a mortal sin, is that you're not around to confess that sin after you've killed yourself. And so that's part of the thing. I believe that I don't go there. I believe the grace of God is bigger than all of that. I'm, I'm not arguing that. But I do think there is a point to be made. God owns us. God owns everything everywhere, including us. He has not given up any rights to any of the things that he created. As a matter of fact, if you are a Christ follower, God owns you twice. Because first time, he gave you life. And then secondly, he bought it back through the, penalty, through the payment of the death of his son. So the first reason that I think suicide is wrong is because our life, nobody's life belongs to us. We don't own anybody. Secondly, suicide is wrong because humans reflect the image of God. In Genesis chapter 1, we're told that God made us male and female in his image, the imago Dei. Now, we don't fully understand what that means because we know from Genesis 3 that the image of God is shattered because of sin and the fall. And so we're not always certain exactly what we mean when we say that that person has the image of God. Uh, you know, we, we use this to say that because of that, they have, they have divine worth. We use that to say sometimes it's, 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 our, uh, it's our moral compass or it's our creativity. Or I mean, You'll have people saying that the image of God, sense of humor, lots, lots of different people have lots of different ideas. What we know, uh, we don't know exactly what it is. What we know is that we reflect, you reflect in some unique way. You mirror God. And that makes you better than, more significant than the animals or anything else. Psalm 19, we're told that the heavens declare the glory of God. There's a sense in which creation mirrors God's glory. And that's it's absolutely right. But there's a sense beyond that in which humans mirror and reflect God's glory. So murder is wrong because human life does not belong um, to us. It belongs to God. And it's also wrong because humans are made in his image. These ideas are declared in the Old Testament. They're further developed in the New Testament. And we will turn there tomorrow. Have a good day.